All right, guys, I'm going to do a little quick demo on uh, how to maintain this beautiful plaque. Uh, this is going to be on the wall at this dealership, uh, but I'm sure people are going to be touching it <laughs> and saying, hey, look how cool that is and whatnot. So I'm going to do a quick video and show you how to touch this thing up, keep it looking brand new. I'm not sure how you're going to attach it to the wall yet. We do have two options on the back. <laughs> Uh, option one is this one. You can literally just drive a nail or screw in the wall, hang it right here. We also put these four holes uh, because the plan is to build brackets for each of these and then have a nice railing system so that you can uh, hang them all and keep them up there nice and symmetrical. So here's how you polish it. Um, you can use any aluminum or metal, metal polish. I recommend Mothers. This is all I use. I get fantastic results. We're gonna wax this before we send it out to you as well. I'm just gonna show you quickly. Get a little bit of polish on your towel. Um, I'll see if I can stuff a towel in the box. These are gonna come in. But basically all you gotta do is get some goo on there. Keep it going in the same direction. And I'm probably only putting maybe five pounds of pressure on this right now. I'm gonna do half, then I'm gonna wipe it off with a clean spot. Please do not drop these towels on the floor if it picks up a little piece of grit or dirt or grime or sand or something, and then you rub it, you're gonna put scratches all over it, so don't do that. So this is, this is already polished, beautiful, and look at all the oxidation that came out on another pass. So I'm gonna get a little clean spot on my towel, And again, I'm only using about four or five pounds of pressure, not too much at all. Thank you very much. Keep your uh, towel going in the same direction the whole time. Don't go back and forth this way. If you do, you will put scratches in it, I promise you. And it will be ugly and you won't like it. And you'll have to go back, put more pressure on it, going the other way. Every time you polish something, you're, de you're just technically scratching it. Uh, so there's really no way to polish without scratching. Um, the point, the, the goal is to get all those scratches going as close to the same direction as possible so that you get a really nice result. So, and look, if you just get this clean, I'll, I'll include some white gloves when I send this as well. If you just, just get it clean, uh, or I'll send it clean, and uh, hang it on the wall and nobody touches it, it'll stay looking like this forever. It won't change colors, it won't oxidize, it won't do anything unless people are touching it with their greasy fingers. And I guess I'm probably more sensitive than anybody because I polish and I pay lots of guys to polish. Uh, sometimes 24 hours a day. We worked on these for about 50 hours straight to get these done in time for your uh, the deadline. And I'm just going the same direction. I'm getting new pieces, fresh pieces of the towel as often as I need to. Once it gets black, it's not gonna really do anything. So you gotta keep moving it around. Um, and like I said, if you don't uh, let people eat chicken wings and then uh, come touch this, they'll stay gorgeous forever. Literally forever. And the size, the edges are the same exact process. I've already done this several times. So I'm not gonna go around every edge and show you that. I will show you one. Stick it over the table just a little bit like this. And obviously this is gonna be on the wall, so if I were you, I wouldn't bother with the backs. I've got the backs perfect right now. Uh, but obviously it's the same process. If you decide to uh, do the back just for the fun of it. Get a clean part of your towel. And that produces 
a brilliant mirror finish. If you end up having to get more towels, um, just go to Amazon and uh, type in 500 GSM for the uh, softness of the towel. And uh, when you dry them, don't put them on high heat. You can melt the fibers and destroy it. So that's basically how we do it. As you can see, it is beautiful. So can we see the edge? Can you see that nice mirror finish on the edge? That's what it should look like when you get it. And I hope you keep it that way. Enjoy.